uh, but Jerry, what, what are you what are you looking forward to uh, at uh, this year's uh, NCSC meeting? Uh, looking forward to a lot of things. Um, I want to help kind of guide some of the the new new position entrants. You know, this is only my second conference, but I've been part of the AAFP for a long time, and um, I, I really look forward to kind of getting people into this process. People that may have never done this before. Uh, making them a, a active participant, making them an active participant in, in deciding policy and creating policy. I also, uh, we do elections every year, and, and this year I'm uh, going to try to throw my hat into the ring for, for the new position board member. Ah, uh, so, so breaking I'm looking news. Forward to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess this is, and now that I said this, I kind of have to do it. I can't back out. Uh, um, yes, that's but, why I, I trapped <laughs> you into calling in the show there, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but I think that's a great opportunity. It's a good chance. There's going to be, I think there are going to be quite a few individuals that are going to try to get that position, and I think it's a great thing. I think that shows that this conference is becoming you know, a serious part of deciding policy and being uh, a big part of the academy, and I think that, that that's important. I think that you know, having so many new physician attendees and having so many, um, you know, we had 20 states this year that's been a full delegation, which I think that's another record. Um, having one of each of the five special constituencies, GLBT, women, uh, minorities, IMGs, and new physicians, having that present from 20 states, one to, one person to fill each of those spots is phenomenal. I mean, that's, that is a, a indication of how passionate Kim was about getting everybody here. And, and um, you know, the, the advisory committee, we, we tried our best to, to you know, facilitate that. You know, a lot of us were making phone calls and, and getting people involved that may not have been involved before. We've got two states that sent individuals that have never sent anybody before. And so uh, it, it's, it's been a very uh, exciting time for us as part of that advisory committee to see just how much momentum that this conference is really picking up. That's great. That's great. You know, and, and, uh, you know, and, and I'm, um, I'm sad I'm not there. And uh, uh, we missed I mean, uh, you. I'll, I'll be following on Twitter, uh, but uh, Jerry Tolbert, you, you're the 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 uh, the unofficial official correspondent of the Family Medicine Rocks podcast, and we'll be pulling for you during this uh, during this election. And I know you alluded to it already, but uh, but Jerry Tolbert, so what, what, why should people uh, vote for you, and why what, why do you think you would be a good selection uh, to be the uh, member of the uh, board of directors? Way to put a guy on the spot. Um... I've given you practice, buddy. Say, um, I know, I know. And you're not supposed to say, um, when you start a speech, but I, honestly, I think I bring a good ability to put my own opinions aside and be a voice for the people that I represent. I think that's something that I try very hard to do. And I try to do it for my patients. I try to do it for my, you know, my friends and family. I try to do it for other physicians already. And I think that at the board level, that's something that, that needs to be ingrained in who you are and what you do. It's not about you. It's not about what you want to do. It's not about what you think should be the right way to go. That has to play into it, but it's not the be-all, end-all. The, the real final decision is what is best for the academy based on what the members want. And I think that at this point, that's going to be my, the, thing that I bring, the, the biggest thing that I bring to the table. I also have, um, I own my own practice, so I represent another minority group. Not, now, that, that probably is the wrong word. I represent a smaller group inside the academy. There are a lot of owned physicians now, and so people that own their own practices are, are fairly rare. And so that's another group I think needs a voice, um, and I think I can do that well. All right, there is Dr. Jerry Tolbert. Now, Jerry, now I, I did I did trap you, uh, and I did bait you, and so so if you do not run for the board, uh, this is no uh, you know this podcast is is in no way a way an obligation <laughs> to do that. Uh, uh, I know people get uh, get caught up in the excitement of the meeting, and I'm, so I'm telling you in public on the air. If you do not run, that is fine. Uh, but I know that you're very excited to to be there, and I will be uh, like all a lot of other people uh, following on Twitter hashtag AA. AFP NCSC, hashtag uh, AFP ALF, and of course uh, the FM Revolution um, hashtag. You got anything else for me, Jerry, before I let you go? I know you're getting ready for the top of the hour for the opening session uh, with uh, Dr. James Galloway. Uh, looks like it's going to be a very good session. It does, and there's a huge crowd here. It looks like it's going to be uh, a nice chance to kind of um, sit down and reconnect and talk to everybody and and uh, also get everybody into the into the fray here. It's getting kind of loud and but it uh, looks like it's going to be a fun time. 
All right, man. Yeah, social media thing out. It's it. Uh, I'll be waiting uh, for everybody we'll to send pictures and tweet out. It's going to be a great meeting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, man. Have a good one. Well, we'll talk to you very soon. You too. I'll talk to you too.